We recommend you have your parents with you while you go over the remaining steps and while completing the following sections of the FAFSA. Enter your parents' marital status as of today. If your parents are married or if your parents are unmarried and live together, you will need to provide information from both parents. If your parents are divorced or separated and live separately, the parent with whom you lived the most during the past 12 months is the parent whose information must be reported on the FAFSA. If you do not live with one parent more than the other, report information about the parent who provided more financial support to you during the 12 months preceding the date you completed your FAFSA application or during the most recent year that you actually received support from a parent. If this parent has remarried as of the date you fill out the FAFSA, your step-parent's information must also be reported on your FAFSA. Continue to fill out your parent's personal information. Be sure to check for accuracy to avoid processing delays. If one or both of your parents do not have social security numbers, enter zeros. Yes, do not leave them blank. Your parents will also have the option to enter an email address. If they do, they will receive an email confirmation when your FAFSA is processed. Next, enter the number of family members in your parents' household. The household size worksheet is provided to help you determine the number of members considered in your parents' household. Be sure to include your parents, including step-parents, yourself, and your parents' other children if your parents will provide more than half of their support. Also include any other people if they now live with your parents and your parents provide more than half of their support. Next, specify how many of these members are attending college at least half-time and are working towards a college degree or certificate in the 2016-2017 school year. Always count yourself in this number, but never include your parents, even if they are attending college. Also, do not include siblings who are in the U.S. Military Service Academies. Be as accurate as possible because your school may ask you to verify this information. We're done with step four. Parents, stick around. We'll cover financial information next.